Ladies and gentlemen, now I woke up a little bit hungover yesterday and I read this announcement first thing and uh, yesterday man, I had a big weekend boys of making terrible life decisions so I wasn't fit to make a video yesterday, however, looking at this announcement man, uh, you know, I'm a little bit gutted, stuff is getting pushed back but overall, I really, really like the level of honesty, transparency and communication and if you followed me for a while on my other channels, you'll know that we played so many mobile video games over the last five years, man. And, you know, this is probably one of the most human responses that I've ever seen from somebody working on a game. And I really, really appreciate it. So this is from Kieran, one of the, um, uh, co-founders of Alluvium. So, dear community, I come with both good and bad news. The good news is that the gameplay trailer is now going to be significantly longer and will include story elements as well as gameplay from the overworld, which was not originally planned. So, it's going to show gameplay from kind of the uh, the open world exploration and I assume catching the alluvials as well. Obviously, very, very big thing. However, the bad news is that they're going to have to push that back by roughly seven weeks. So I believe with this timeline, we're gonna have this gameplay trailer in seven weeks and then they'll land sale like two, three weeks after that. So we honestly believe to do the game justice, we need to deliver an all-encompassing trailer. So while we hate to make you wait, this will be a positive move in the long run. And I think, you know, this is the right thing for, um, any good promotional thing, even if the gameplay trailer did come out like this week, again, the land sale, the beta, like stuff isn't starting for a while. So I think having it in seven weeks time and then building off the momentum to roll like straight into land sale uh, and then roll into the open beta of the game and then launch, I think is going to be just this monumental train, which is going to be really good for kind of drawing new people into Alluvium. Uh, and hopefully, you know, just everything bangs the trailer is amazing, the land sale, the mini game's awesome as well, the open beta comes out, that's super good, because uh, again, everything with Alluvium hinges on the game being good and enjoyable, but I got I got some faith that it's, it's going to be a pretty fun project there, man, but who knows, we're going to have to see on that one, but they've also decided to push the, um, the open beta release back to Q1 next year, so it's going to be early next year. Again, uh, right now we're about to enter September. Like, that's going to come around very, very quickly, but again, a little bit longer to wait. Uh, Kieran takes full responsibility for these delays, as it was my job to ensure we had hired enough resources, and unfortunately, we are around 20% off where we need to be. So they already have, like, over 100 contributors working on... um. Alluvium at the moment, and this is one of the things that makes me like so excited and uh, really bullish on Alluvium as well, is I can't find another crypto game with even close to like 50% of the people actually working on the game, its arts, its assets, its animations, everything surrounding the entire ecosystem and the project of trying to just build like this massive genre changing game. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the things that makes me pretty excited is they've already got a big team dude, but Kira and, you know, he's ramping up 20%. So they've hired an additional full-time recruitment lead uh, who used to lead hiring efforts for Uber and also Google. So we got Dengler here. Uh, again, I don't know too much about this fella, but, you know, a lot of Uber and Google, they did all right <laughs> as companies. Uh, so hopefully this man knows how to get some really good connections there. It was always a challenge to deliver a AAA title in the time frame set, and we mainly me, were probably a little naive thinking we could do it in 2021, but rest assured our team is firing on all cylinders. We're building as quickly as possible while ensuring our standards don't drop. We have some other exciting things coming in the next few weeks, and as always, we will remain 100% transparent with the community. We've come a long way together. We have to praise you for your patience. So yeah, I just, I like this response, man, because Kieran, you know, he really takes the responsibility on him, and that's one thing that we just don't see from like certain big gaming companies like Netmarble, My Hero Devs, it's just like the actual fully taking of responsibility on an individual. Like a lot of people either just completely ignore like their fuck ups or um, uh, trying to pass them off. I really like that he's kind of like fully embracing that. Uh, so yeah, I think this is like a really, really good message. And I think with games as well, it's better to be 
uh, late or delayed and do stuff right and make sure everything is like up to that top-notch quality because so much rests on the shoulders of the developers of Alluvium and they got to make sure with everything, the gameplay trailer, the look and feel of the game, that they absolutely knock it out of the park if they want this to be a success. Like if you rush out a game too early, that game is always a bad game to so many people. Again, there have been like a few exceptions uh, like No Man's Sky that have eventually, after years of very, very hard work, won the community back. Uh, but when it comes to the majority of games, you know, if we look at stuff like Cyberpunk, many flopped and failed titles. If you rush out a game, if you released an unfinished product, and if you don't have your shit together, then that is just going to completely tank the reputation of the game. And I think especially in crypto, when you've got so many people... Um, uh, you know, investing, holding the token. They need to make sure they get this stuff right as well because there's more on the line in comparison to kind of a regular game release. Uh, so yeah, overall, I think it's uh, it's the right decision, definitely. Sucks everything's going to be a little bit later because there's nothing more than I want to do at the moment than just play Alluvium. I want to get stuck in, have a little bit of fun, explore the world, kind of figure out what to do, uh, start kind of mapping together some guides and making some really good videos. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer man uh so yeah it's unfortunate but you know still personally i'd rather they delay it if they needed to another like three to six months in comparison to like rushing out a game that feels unfinished but it seems like you know at least from kieran's update here they're still around about 20 percent off and again if we look at the discord there are very very regular development updates especially from von newman uh lots of character leak stuff on the animations are all sorts of cool stuff um so yeah it looks like the team's cracking on and again this team is, um, at least from what I can see, uh, pretty much working like six, seven days a week. Like if you join the Alluvium Discord, like pretty much every single day, there is something in the character leaks, you know, uh, many days there, there might be like three to six things as well. So they're, they're very good at giving out a lot of different updates again with the art and animations and everything they need to do to kind of design this world, all the characters bring it to life. Like it's a massive team, a massive project, but it seems like they've been hiring some really talented people recently as well so yeah i'm very curious to see what happens like in the next six months hopefully we get a playable version uh early next year and we can start cracking out some content but until then i think we might need to find a few other crypto gaming projects to keep us occupied but the problem is like you know the majority of stuff out there at the moment is a little bit shit <laughs> so yeah hopefully you know some good betas start up soon man or we can just like uh, uh find uh, another game or something to get a little bit interested interested in but anyway ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy today's update video and breakdown please do smash that like button that'd be greatly appreciated thank you all very much for watching take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day